an eclipse happens when the moon comes between us here on the earth and the sun. So the moon will cross between us on the earth and the sun and uh, everybody in the contiguous United States will get to see a partial eclipse where the moon partially blocks out the sun. Some people who are in the path of totality will get to see a total solar eclipse and that's where the moon totally blocks out the main body of the sun. Those people will get to see the corona or the atmosphere of the sun peeking out from around the moon. So everybody in the contiguous United States will get to see at least a partial eclipse where the moon partially blocks out the sun. Uh, there's a path of totality though that starts in Texas and it goes um, up north and comes out through Maine. And the people in the path of totality will get to see the uh, main body of the sun totally blocked out. Total solar eclipse happens somewhere on the earth about every 18 months. But of course, most of the earth is water. It's not where people live. And so the fact that so many people live nearby the total eclipse or live in the partial phases of the eclipse, uh, it just means so many more people will get to participate in this event. is going to be a little bit different from the 2017 eclipse in a couple of different ways. The first is that more people just live in the path of totality. That means they could just step out their front door and already be there to experience the total phase of the eclipse. Uh, the second thing is that the total phase of the eclipse for those who are there will last longer. So about four and a half minutes for those right down the center of the total uh, path of the totality. Whereas in 2017, even the maximum extent was only about two minutes. And the third thing is the sun goes through magnetic activity cycles. And right now we're in a magnetic activity maximum. That means that the corona, the part of the atmosphere of the sun that is peaks out during totality, it's gonna to be very complex. Um, and there is all this magnetic tangling and magnetic energy being released and magnetic explosions on the sun, more so now than in 2017. the eclipse. The first is if you have um, special solar eclipse viewers, these have special filters across the front that make it safe to view the sun. And so you can look directly at the sun through these um, and see the partial phases of the eclipse. You can also use a pinhole projector and they're very easy to make. Uh, this is an example from the punch mission, the NASA punch mission. It's just a piece of cardboard with holes punched out of them. You stand with the sun at your back, you let the sunlight come through the holes, and an image of the partial eclipse will be projected down on the ground in front of you. So you'll see those crescent shapes, the shapes of the moon taking a bite out of the sun down on the ground in front of you. And it's just a really cool thing. Even in partial, even in the partial eclipse, you'll still get to feel it get colder and it will look darker. You should never look directly at the sun because um, you can have eye damage if you stare at the sun. So always uh, safety first, always use those uh, protective eyeglasses or use a pinhole projector to indirectly view the eclipse. During totality, when we get to see the corona, the main body of the sun is totally blocked out and we get to see this atmosphere of the sun, that is what I am so excited about because the corona is the part of the sun that I study. And I study the corona and how that material expands outwards and fills our solar system. And so to get to see it with my own eyes is just going to be amazing and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> 